All right. We're ready, right? Okay, here we go. Welcome again, everyone. My name is Larry James. Our company is Speak with Larry, No Spaces. And what I want to talk with you guys today about is making a commitment and sticking to it. Making a commitment and sticking to that commitment. Someone told me one time that the quickest way to success was to be specific on what you decide to accept. In other words, what you decide to take on, what you decide to sign up for. Because if you don't plan to finish it, don't sign up for it because it will occupy time and it will take you places that will kind of get you off track, especially if you don't finish it. That's why when you uh, start something and you finish it, that's why you get that feeling that euphoric, like, whew, I did it, <laughs> right? Because it's going to be difficult and it should be. It shouldn't be real easy because if it was easy like that, guess what? Right, <laughs> everybody would be doing it. And you know, that's why I call those gatekeepers because see, the way gatekeepers work is if you don't put in the work, you don't get the results. And I like systems like that because it separates you. It separates the way you think. It separates the people in your circle because people who don't finish what they start, they have a tendency to hang around people who don't finish what they start consciously. Not even, not even just not knowing. You can, I can talk to you, and you can tell me things that you that you do, and we'll be able to determine whether or not you finish what you start. You already know, <laughs> but I'll be able to see just by your conversation, because one of the things about finishing what you start is it builds confidence. You will have confidence in yourself and your abilities. I was uh, doing a little research this morning. I like to get up early and, you know, do a few things online before I start my day. And I and I read with this young lady. I can't remember her name, but she's 14 years old and just graduated with a master's degree. A master's degree. Let that sink in just for a second. I like to always say our people are geniuses. <laughs> they are seriously geniuses. Because if we had the same opportunities and benefits that come with things like that without people trying to take advantage of you or misrepresent you or hold you back because there are insecurities or jealousies, wow, you don't know. It's like, and, and, and the way the, the system is designed is not really designed for you to be on a playing, a level playing field. It's designed for you to finagle your way through whatever you got to finagle your way through. And if you make it, so what? If you don't, I didn't think you were anyway. You know, if we had a system in place that was really fair, man, we would dominate. Black people, that's what I'm talking about. We would dominate. And I think the system knows that. But, you know, we're not going to get into that because it's not about that uh, so much. But if you can't pay attention to what's going on, things are changing. And they're changing in a way where people like you and I are being recognized. We're being put in positions. We're being acknowledged, right, for our efforts. And I mean, at a young age, at a very young age, people are becoming successful. I was reading a few minutes ago where a little kid 12 years old, just made a million dollars in the stock market. In options, a million dollars, 12 years old. Look just like you and I, if you look like me. <laughs> but if not, hey, it's being done. And it's being done on a regular basis now. So we need to get in the game of something, right? We need to do something because there's so much that's being done right now. For us just to sit around with our arms crossed or our legs crossed, 
and not do something with all that free time we have. You know, that's kind of defeating the purpose of living, right? Now, I'm not saying make it work. Make it work. I'm saying, you know, position yourself so that it's fun for you, you know, as you're gaining knowledge about something and, and being able to share that knowledge. Because when you share that knowledge, you get rewarded, whether it be money, whether it be satisfaction, whether it be uh, uh, acknowledgments. You know, people have different triggers. Like, I like to ask people, if you were in a work environment and there were like, let's say 15 people that you work with and you did a great job, right? Man or woman, you did a great job and I wanted to reward you, right? I want to give you maybe a $500 bonus. Would you like that $500 bonus in front of everybody or would you like me to just pull you to the side and say, hey, man, you did a great job. Here's $500. Some people would like in a crowd. They want to be acknowledged like that. But there's also people who just, just give it to me. I don't need, I don't need that acknowledgement. It's personality. It's persona. It's your understanding of who you are. You know, and if you understand who you are, then you are way ahead of the game because a lot of people don't really understand who they are. They don't, not only do they not understand who they are, they don't understand what they like. They don't understand what they want. They don't understand what it takes to get what they want. They're not willing to put in the effort to learn what it takes to get what they want. They want it to come accidentally. <laughs> I don't know how I got it, right? Like winning the lottery. And I don't think that's a good plan. Do you think that's a good plan, really? <laughs> anyway. You want to make sure, and nowadays especially, you can, what I'm doing right now, I'm sitting in front of my computer talking to you guys. Where are you located? You could be anywhere in the world. And you probably will never see me in life, but this information that I share could be just what you needed to know, period. Especially if I put it where, in a strategic place where you can access it, right? If you're interested in online businesses, if you're interested in you know uh, the stock market, uh, if you're interested in uh, being a consultant in a variety of different uh, areas, then you're in the right place. But if you're interested in, let's say, uh, poker, or you're interested in uh, bowling, this isn't a video you would be watching, right? So that's why it's necessary that you learn how to put your videos in a strategic place so that the people who are interested in those can access those and you know learn who you are and decide whether or not they want to continue watching your videos or not it's all up it's up to you my job is to create them put them out there that's going to be your job as well create them create the content put it out for the masses to see you can't take them by the hand and make them watch your video, though. You know, that's not what you want to do. But you want to be authentic with who you are. When you're authentic, you are original because nobody else is like you. I tell people all the time, you, I've never met nobody like you. And that's true because you are individually wrapped. And that's a good thing. But you don't let people see that. You keep that hidden. And by you keeping that hidden, the universe can't reward you for having all those skills and abilities. It's not how it works. It rewards you by sharing because when you share, you're helping others. I know it's kind of like a, I didn't know that concept, right? But think about it. Think about it. If you say, if you're sitting in a crowd of 50 people watching a speaker and the speaker is talking and you raise your hand and ask a question, the person sitting three seats down may have had that same question or will really be able to benefit because he taking notes and just said, well, that's what I wanted to know. Now I don't have to ask it because they're afraid to <laughs> speak, right? But, you know, you still got the knowledge. You, you um, requisitioned the knowledge from the speaker by raising your hand and said, listen, how many days is it in a week or whatever your, whatever your question was? And the speaker was able to answer that for you. And this person down there needed to know that as well. They didn't know either. 
but you get the point, right? But you see how how much fun this is. I mean, you know, just relaxing. There's nothing, you know, pressure or nothing like that. You just put content together and talk about things that you know that you know about, or you can talk about current events. You know, you can always, you know, bring that into the play too, because I like to uh, infuse different types of little stories, little anecdotes, if you will, as I'm sharing videos, because you don't know too much about me. I know nothing about you, but if I told you things like, um, I've been actually working for a company for like 40 years, I know you wouldn't believe that, right? But that's true, that's facts, not one company, but you know, I've been working for the government for 40 years, getting ready to retire pretty soon. But what I'm gonna do after that is spend full time in my business, which allows me to do things like I like to do, right? But if you're 30, 40 years old, you can start your, your effort and your journey right now and five, 10 years down the road, you may be able to retire at that point because you would have made enough money from your business to you know, facilitate your lifestyle, whatever that is. It may be not, but you still have your little side hustle where you're stacking money, right? You're stacking money and you're gaining skills. See, when you gain those skills, you become more valuable to the marketplace. The marketplace is the world, <laughs> okay? You can market anywhere in the world. So if you want to be a lawyer or a doctor or whatever, that takes years to become that. If you want to start an online business, you can do it today. It can be done. And you can master that in a short period of time, but you just have to be committed, which is why I titled this video, Finish What You Start, in line with a commitment, right? Okay, well, I'm gonna stop right there because I don't like to go past 10 minutes if I don't have to because uh, 36 videos is quite a few videos. And you know, I don't want to uh, be redundant with my information. So I wanna kind of be original and you know, do things like that. So again, I appreciate you guys spending your time to uh, watch these videos. And again, share with someone else what I've shared with you.